I want to start with a question. Who are the Uyghurs? Well, they were roughly uh, number 10 million within China proper. Ethnically, they are Turkic. They speak Uyghur and most practice uh, Sufi Islam. They have achieved statehood twice after the fall of the Qing dynasty and uh, are largely in Xinjiang. Many complain about the forced assimilation by the Chinese government. However, both share a long history with each other. The Chinese influence has been uh, very strong on East Turkestan, or where the Uyghurs generally are. Clothing of the or ordinary East Turkestanis don't really show it. However, there has been much uh, trade with China, as well as uh, arts and crafts and borrowed words between the two. Chinese have shown a great amount of prevalence within society. However, their interactions have mostly been superficial. The Uyghurs are geopolitically Central Asian and are part of the chessboard of the Great Game, which for a long time has been under Russian dominance. Uyghur nationalism is also associated with Jadidism, an educational movement to open up a new style of schooling. There has been a great amount of uh, political and social change within the region after having uh, the First World War come to a close and subsequently the Russian Empire uh, disappearing. One of the most important factors about uh, Uyghur sentiments right now is also seeing the formation of the Uzbek, Kyrgyz, and Kazakh nationalist ideas under uh, Soviet communism. However, adding some background information to uh, Xinjiang and China as a whole. Xinjiang is the largest province in China and makes up one-sixth of the country's area. Its capital is in Urumqi. That capital is closer to Baghdad, New Delhi than it is to Beijing. And it has the highest GDP outside of the coast. And it, during the late 1970s, Deng Xiaoping uh, brought forth some reforms to the area, which it went from a quasi-military rule that was seen in uh, 1949 to out of uh, what it is now as an autonomous state, given a better degree of freedom. With the opening of uh, China in 1987, there was a renewal of trade ideas to be seen with its Western neighbors. However, once the Soviet Union fell, models of sovereignty came forth through uh, states such as uh, Tajikistan. And with the explosion of terrorism in 2001, especially with the September 11th attack, a question came into uh, whether or not Xinjiang will also follow suit and commit something similar in that regard. And thus the Chinese posed the question of uh, whether or not the non-Han should even rule the region. To give a bit more background, Article 36 of the Chinese Constitution says that citizens enjoy freedom of religious belief. In February 2018, reforms were passed to uh, uh, state-registered religious organizations to possess property, publish literature, train and approve clergy, and collect donations. With reforms came uh, heightened control. The U.S. State Department has designated China in particular to have religious freedom issues. Muslims make up 1.6% of uh, China's population, accounting for 22 million people, and half are, in, uh, are Uyghurs in Xinjiang. The government attributes uh, violence by the East Turkestan Islamic Movement, a militant Islamic separatist movement, to uh, many of the terrorist attacks that have been seen within the country. A particular attack being in Yunnan, at Kunming Station in southwest China. There was a stabbing which left 130 wounded and 29 dead. Eyewitnesses say they saw the attackers use curved swords and meat cleavers. And uh, Chinese authorities say that evidence points to the ETIM, the Xinjiang separatists. Another attack being in Aksu, in a Sogen Colliery. It left uh, at least 150 dead, as well as uh, made the government crack down on the threat of uh, Islamic militants in an energy-rich part of the country. Exiles and rights groups go against this claim and say that the evidence is not inconclusive, and to give legitimacy in our home front, the United States uh, Treasury Department has listed the ETIM as a terrorist organization in 2002, during a period in which saw U.S.-Chinese cooperation 
on anti-terrorism following the wake of 2001, September 11th attack. The East Turkestani movement seeks to create an independent state called East Turkestan, which would cover areas including parts of Turkey, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. China's war in the Bush administration about the ETIM's ties to Al-Qaeda and bin Laden. Militant Uyghur groups will likely deepen their collaboration with dense web of international and terrorist organizations. The Islamic State, too, is also sympathetic towards their cause, and it even has made claims against China. The United States also believes that there is a link between the ETIM and Al-Qaeda. The State Department said that the ETIM has received training and funding from Al-Qaeda. China has accused the ETIM of bombing houses, markets, buses, and government institutions, as well as the assassination of local officials, Muslim leaders, and uh, numerous civilians, Muslim and Han alike, which have killed uh, 162 people. I would like to also pose another hypothetical idea to go off of. It is called the ticking time bomb situation. For instance, it is like torture, which we have been seen in the United States. Is it reasonable to use immoral methods towards counterterrorism? For the Chinese in particular, they are known for uh, the mistreatment of the Uyghur community and their police state, as well as uh, the possible re-education camps that exist within their borders. Whether or not the actions are uh, moral or practical, the Chinese have still gone through with such, in particular a rising uh, security presence in uh, Xinjiang, the suspected uh, rounding up of nationalists. The public security budget in the region has uh, gone up by roughly 90% since 2010, and since the summer of 2017 there have been many reports made about large-scale internments of uh, Muslims particularly the Uyghurs in Xinjiang. He suspected that roughly 10% of their entire population has been pushed into them. The Chinese government has denied their existence and uh, thinks that the re-education camps are rather just uh, correctional facilities for us smaller criminals. The Global Times, the Chinese Communist Party's English uh, language reporter, has made that uh, over a million residents, especially in southern Xinjiang, have been subjected to government-organized occupational education programs. The government and its state media has reported that re-education efforts have began in uh, late 2013 and gradually became more institutionalized. The concept of uh, re-education has long been a part of communist China. The region's re-education facility network operates alongside prisons and such. Increasingly, uh, the application of transformation through education has been uh, linked to uh, de-extremification. In 2016, Chen Quanguo became Xinjiang's new party secretary after his, uh, after his efforts in pacifying the resistive Tibet region. Despite the estimate of about 892,000 people being detained in spring of 2018, as well as the many first-hand accounts, there is nothing official to have been reported by the government. That is not to say that efforts have not been made. In 2016, acting uh, deputy assistant of the Secretary of State, Laura Stone, raised the option of using the 2016 Global Mag Magnitsky Act there have also been uh, reports of uh, senior Uyghurs attending uh, the White House to give briefings. There have been many of uh, trade tariffs used against China. There has been the uh, renaming of the Pacific Command to the Indo-Pacific Command, in which implies the uh, containment of the Chinese. Beijing likely uh, has been taking this criticism and sanction as more of a smear campaign. Getting back to Magnitsky, it was named after Sergei Magnitsky, who was a Russian accountant, tortured, denied medical attention, and was later found dead. In 2012, the United States Congress passed a law in his name, imposed sanctions on the Russian officials believed to have been responsible 
The act itself gives the president to uh, block or revoke certain visas, as well as to impose property sanctions on them. Such an action should be encouraged by us and uh, should be uh, uplifted. Due to the nature of such uh, repression and the vehement denial that Chinese continue to display, it is worth applying this to uh, the spiral model by Siking and explaining why our presence is necessary towards us. To start, it begins with uh, the weak domestic uh, people who are being pressured down by uh, the repression, such as the Chinese militants and security, as well as re-education re camps. Next, it comes into our advocacy and uh, shaming of the Chinese, their denial of this, and ultimately trying to uh, fend off against such claims. However, uh, our presence also uh, goes towards uh, aiding the local groups and uh, making them uh, more known, to which uh, brings about uh, tactical concessions by the Chinese themselves. And through them and our efforts, we can create a prescriptive status to assist with uh, the process and ultimately uh, bring about rule consistent behavior. So it is through our efforts as advocates and uh, shaming the Chinese for such behavior that we'll be able to uh, help the Uyghurs and uh, human rights in China as a whole. Thank you for listening, and I hope you can uh, help with this issue.